Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back. Um, today I'm going to do a wearable red lip look. Um, my favorite red lipstick is this <clears throat> uh, L'Oreal Colorige 402. It's in Blake's Red. This whole line, um, this like collection exclusive, they have different shades of um, like red tones and maybe nudes, but I'm pretty sure it's red tones um, that are created by, I think they're like brand entrepreneurs or brand associates, something like that. Um, but they're all celebrity based and they're called, um, they're named after the celebrity. So this is by Blake Lively and this is like Blake Lively's perfect red. So if you are interested in going to find these in store, just know that there are several different colors based off of different um, people's preferences um, and skin tones and stuff like that. But this is pretty much like the truest, true like Hollywood red, cool toned. I love it, it's matte, it's creamy. It has that like really terrible L'Oreal smell. So if you hate it, it definitely smells like it. Um, but I love this red color. It is like my favorite go-to red color. I don't have to use a lip liner with it. It's opaque. It's just creamy and matte and it stays put. Um, it does not, uh, it is not transfer proof, but it's still a really great red. If you're looking for a liquid lipstick red, um, at least one from the drugstore is the um, Makeup Academy MUA. Um, it is a matte red liquid lipstick um, and I really like that one. Let me see if I can find that one. I know I have it. This is the MUA um, liquid lipstick. It's called 204 Bright Red. Wait, what? <laughs> I thought they were both 204. No, the L'Oreal is 402 and this one is 204. Um, that's kind of cool. So anyways, um, this is a pretty good um, liquid lipstick. It is drying, so if you don't really like drying lips, uh, liquid lipsticks, this is probably gonna bother you. But anyway, I'm gonna try to do a look that includes this red lip um, in an easy, wearable way. This is good for any time if you wanna do like a red lip when you're going out, if you wanna do a red lip for Valentine's Day, or anything like that, you know. Um, is it so I'm just gonna put my hair back so that I don't have to deal with it and let's get started okay so I'm gonna start off with priming and I'm going to use my soap and glory one heck of a black primer I don't think I even need to <laughs> like inter introduce it anymore because I use it so often but um, and I'm just gonna put it in the usual spots places that I have in large pores or um, places that I get a little bit more oily than uh, most people do and I like to start by like rubbing and kind of patting in primer Okay, and um, for my second primer, because I always use two primers, I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. Um, it is the Blemishless Primer. I really like this primer, I've had it for a while. Um, you, like, there's so much product in here, you could almost never go through this. There's 1.7 fluid ounces of primer, and like, I don't use a lot of primer. I mean, quantity-wise, I really only use like, I don't know, a pea size amount, that's it. Um, so like this thing lasts forever. It is very expensive. I think it, it was like probably 30 or $40. I don't really remember because I bought it a while ago, but um, this I feel like really kind of smooths things out, makes my redness or any kind of weird discolorations, um, it kind of like calms it down a little bit and you know, makes the, makes my skin sticky. Um, but not sticky in a way where you're like, this is gonna like do crazy things to my makeup. Um, so I really like it. It, it. I mean, you have so much product in here, it's like crazy. You would never ever run out of that. And then for foundation, I'm gonna use the Too Faced um, Peach Perfect Foundation. This is like the fourth time that I've used it, fifth time that I've used it. Um, and I like it, I do like it a lot. 
when I wear it for a long period of time, I really like it. Um, my one gripe is that it really settles into my smile lines and it settles into my smile lines from the very, very, very beginning when I apply it. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, I don't know how to make this not settle into my smile lines. It doesn't settle into, I have like this like angry line here on my face that like, I do this a lot with my eyebrows, which is probably not good, but um, yeah, I do that a lot with my eyebrows and usually foundation will settle here. Now this foundation does not settle here, it settles here, where most foundations it's the opposite. And I'm okay with it settling here because I do it so often that like, I get it, but upon application it creases here and it will not blend out no matter how much I try to work on it so I'm not really sure what it is that makes it settle just directly into this crease and it won't blend out um, and I usually do like I start off with like two pumps and then I usually will add another one because it's not full full coverage it's like a medium coverage and if we're doing a red lip we're doing full coverage <laughs> as full coverage as we can get. Okay, for concealer I'm gonna use Shape Tape. Not a surprise. <laughs> I know everybody, everybody's shocked right now. Everybody who's watching this is, oh, shape tape, what? No way. Yes, why? And I'm gonna conceal my under eye circles and the fact that uh, I don't sleep anymore. Vintage in my eyelids. And I'm also gonna use it to highlight my face. I'm gonna set my face using the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. I'm back on this um, powder. I was off it for a while because um, I was trying to look for a colored powder or not a colored powder, but I guess like a tinted loose powder that wouldn't change the color of my foundation, um, but also wouldn't um, have flashback um, because I don't, I don't wanna buy the Laura Mercier um, setting powder because I go through setting powder so quickly and I just can't justify spending that much money on powder when I go through it so quickly. Um, so, but now I'm, I'm back on this and I really like it. I mean, it is a really, really nice powder. It is so nice and it's like, I don't know, $12 I think. No, actually, well, I think in store it was only like eight dollars if I remember correctly I haven't bought one in store in probably like a year or two because I think they've discontinued MIC like in actual retail stores so I have to find it like on Amazon or something um so but on and on Amazon it's like thirteen dollars but it's worth it it really is so to contour I'm gonna use this um wet and wild mega glow contouring palette contour contouring palette contour that's really what it's called in um, the shade Dulce de Leche, and I'm gonna use it on my Luxe brush that Cerberus kind of ate a little bit. Nothing is sacred here in this household. And I'm just gonna contour my cheeks a little bit. I don't contour my forehead or anything like that because I don't really have like a large forehead. Um, so I don't really do that. And I don't really mind like my nose, so I don't ever really contour my, my nose. I really only focus it on um, my cheeks. So, I'm gonna start back here, like I usually do, where the most product will be um, laid down, and I'm gonna blend it downwards. Now, the good thing about this powder is that it 
it's pigmented, don't get me wrong, but um, it's buildable. So if you are newer at contouring, first of all, this is really cheap. Um, if you're not sure you're gonna like contouring. Um, but also it's uh, buildable, so you're, you don't have to worry about putting it down and then having like a stripe. You can just kind of build it up to the intensity that you want it, which is always nice. Also, this is not like the grayest of all gray contours. It's a little bit warmer than most contours are, um, but I feel like that works better for my skin tone because I am um, so olive toned that really cool toned um, contour co colors look really like ashen on my skin tone, look way too ashen on my skin tone. So um, I really like warmer colors to contour because I feel like um, it just looks more natural and a little bit um, more seamless. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Dark Chocolate So Light Bronzer, which I love. I love this bronzer. And I'm gonna start back here towards the hairline like I did with the contour color. And then I'm gonna bring it up and around. I'm gonna start towards uh, my hairline like I did with the contour color and I'm gonna bring it down on my cheeks and then up and around onto my forehead. Well, kind of on my forehead, more on the sides. I really like to keep most of this blank. All right, so I'm gonna use this Tarte um, Amazonian 12 hour uh, blush in the shade Feisty. And I'm gonna take it on this waxy brush, kind of put the excess on my hand. So to highlight, I'm going to use Becca's Prosecco Pop. This is a neutral kind of highlight, toned I mean. Um, it's a little bit golden, but I feel like I'm probably gonna do something like a warm toned kind of look, because I feel like warm toned eyes and um, red lips really look nice together even though it's kind of a juxtaposition. So for my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Morphe 35O, the original palette. Um, I have not used this in a while, so I'm excited to use it. Um, I love this palette. I love it. Uh, just like most of everybody else does. <laughs> I'm going to pick up this kind of like mustardy orange color. I'm going to use this as my transition shade. Oh, actually, let me zoom you in. I'm going to go in with this Moda brush and I'm going to take this kind of <laughs> orangey tone. It's not kind of an orangey tone. It is an orangey tone. And I'm gonna put that into more of like this outer um, corner, kind of outer crease area. And I'm gonna keep that lower than my first shade um, since it was a transition shade. So kind of not on the eyelid, but so <clears throat> the crease is here, right? That's where we put our transition shade. This shade is gonna go right underneath, almost onto the eyelid. 
And I'm gonna take my little itty bitty Luxie brush and I'm, I'm going to go into this shade that I know is not necessarily warm toned. Where is it? It's right here. Um, this, warm, this is not necessarily warm toned, but I need it to darken up kind of like the outer corners. I'm not going to use a lot of this. I'm gonna keep it pretty light on the eyes, but um, it does need a little bit of depth. So I'm just gonna tap this on. And when you're working with um, a darker color and you don't wanna overdo it, um, go a little bit by a little bit. And I know that's annoying because you have to just like keep dipping into the color a lot, but um, things can get really dark really quickly. Um, especially when you're working with like really pigmented shadows, so you don't want to overdo it. And I'm kind of patting it down, and when I drag it into the crease, I'm kind of laying the brush down on my lid so that most of the color will go right directly into the crease. So I'm gonna take uh, this kind of flat, fluffy brush and I'm going to pick up this like, where is it, this yellowy shade and this cream shade. I'm gonna kind of make a cocktail here. And I'm gonna put this on my inner lid kind of halfway. So for liner, I'm gonna do a um, cat eye, kind of a winged liner, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Matte Liner. If you're not into matte liner, NYX also has the same version in a vinyl liner. So this has a little bit of shine. It's really not anything crazy. Um, it's not like reflective or it doesn't have glitter, anything like that. It just, just doesn't dry down super matte like this one does but it's a brush tip, that's what I like, that's what I learned on. Um, so for me, um, brush tips are a little bit easier, but if you are newer, I hear that felt tip is easier for people to learn. I just, <laughs> I just cannot figure out felt tip liners. Um, but this is what I learned on, so, well, not this specific product, but I learned on a brush tip, so that's what's easiest for me. So use whatever eyeliner is um, easiest for you to work with, whether it be a brush tip or um, a felt tip and you can then create a wing. It's again, not gonna be too dramatic because I want the lips to be like the focus, <clears throat> but um, I can talk you through how I do liner. If, uh, so you're gonna get your liner and I like to start in the middle of the lid and I just line it literally to the end. Once I have this line going, I go back to the front. And I line up to where my lashes end. Okay, so now my whole lid is one line. That's it, there's nothing else. And at this point I will go back into my liner and I like to kind of wipe off the excess so I don't have too much product on my brush. And I like to tilt my head back. I have my mirror right here. And I tilt my head back and look down at the mirror. And I start kind of on the outer edge here. And I just draw a straight line out. And then I kind of assume where I want it to, how long I want it to be. And I just bring it down. That's it, a little bit by a little bit. <laughs> You'll get there, you just have to do it slowly. go back into the palette, make up the same kind of concoction that I used on my lid, and the same brush, 
And I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone real quick. I'm going to um, line my tight line with the NYX Treasury liner. Okay, so I'm going to use this little um, pencil brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to go into the first kind of RNG shade that I used first and I'm going to bring that all the way around. I'm just pretty much um, mimicking what I did on top. Then I'm gonna go into this little darker, kind of darker orange shade that you also can't see. And I'm just going to bring it uh, about halfway. This one is a little bit darker. And I go back into this tiny little uh, baby brush and this purpley, plummy kind of brown shade. I wish that they had names, it would just be so much easier. And I'm just gonna focus this right on the corners here, by the, kind of by the liner. I am going to take this little tiny brush here and I think I'm going to mix this um, pinky shade here and this like coppery shade because I don't want it pink but I don't want it like completely bronze and I'm just going to put it right in this inner corner just for like a pop of drama. I didn't even tell you what I was using. <laughs> that would be helpful. I'm using the Essence Volume Stylist. It's a fave right now. I can't get away from it. I really like it and it's so cheap. I'm using the Ulta Brow Pomade in the shade Warm Brown. So I'm going to use these Ardell Faux Mink lashes. They look really pretty. Um, they a little dramatic. <laughs> I know. Everybody's laughing at me because at the beginning of this video I said, I'm gonna keep the, <laughs> the eyes not dramatic. And here we are, putting on these lashes and looking like this, but you know, it's fine. Okay, and now I'm going to set my face with this Morphe spray like I usually do. And now for the start of the show is this lipstick. Now, I personally do not feel like I have to line my lips um, when I wear this because it stays in the lines, it is easy to apply, it doesn't bleed, it doesn't feather, um, it doesn't do anything crazy. So, I don't personally feel like I need to do that. I'm just gonna put it on. gonna take down my hair now that the look is done all right so this is my version of a wearable red lip look um, now you can make this you know kind of custom to who you are and your style of makeup um, if you don't typically wear lashes or you don't want to wear lashes just throw on a couple good coats of mascara and you can go <clears throat> if you're not into eyeshadow you can just put maybe a little bit of bronzer in your crease and leave it like that and mascara and go if you're not into liner bypass the liner if you like just the liner and just mascara or just the liner and just lashes go for it I mean this is a really customizable look um, but for me I really like how this turned out um, it's kind of warm and a little bit smoky, but not um, really dark or overdone. Um, I feel very comfortable. 
But yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this look. And let me know what other kind of looks you want to see or um, reviews or anything like that. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!